Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 Home Services Project. In this video, we are going to learn about show all service providers in admin panel. So let's see how can we show all service providers in admin panel. So first of all, let's create a new live wire component. So switch to the command prompt and for creating the new live wire component, uh, just type here the command php artisan make colon live wire a space directory name admin slash component name uh, which is admin service providers component all right now press enter component created now run the application so write here php artisan serve now switch to the project and uh, let's create the route for this component so just go inside the routes directory then open web.php file and inside the admin uh, middleware route group uh, let's create here a new route so after this just write here route colon colon get and here the uri slash admin slash service providers Now add here the class name which is admin service provider component colon colon class and also give the route name so write here name admin dot service providers service underscore providers all right now save this file now let's open the admin service provider component class file so just go inside the app directory then http livewire admin and from here let's open this one admin service provider uh, component.php file and inside this file first of all let's add here the layout so right here arrow layout and add here the directory name layouts and layout name which is base okay and uh, inside this render method let's fetch here the all uh, service provider so for that just write here is providers is equal to model name service provider colon colon as in it and add here the page size and let's say 12 now let's return this is providers to the uh, to the view file so right here comma big bracket then s providers arrow dollar s providers okay now save this file now let's open the uh, this one admin service providers component view file so just go inside the resources directory then views liveware admin and uh, from here let's open this one admin service providers component.blade.php file and inside this file first of all let's remove this text and now uh, let's open this one admin service category component.blade.php file okay and from this file let's select all the text and copy and now paste inside this view file All right, now let's uh, make some changes. So first of all, let's change here the title. So select this, and, uh, press Control plus T, and just add here the title Service Providers. Okay, and also remove this link. So just select this and delete. Now inside this uh, table, uh, let's change here the table heading. So right here. First, add here the image name, then email, and here phone, and after this, city, then service category, and one more field which is service locations. All 
right now inside the porridge just write here as providers as as provider now let's copy this and change here for id and for the image uh, first change here the image directory name which is uh, just right here as yes, providers okay and uh, also change here as yes, provider now for showing the name and here uh, for displaying the name here first of all go to the service provider model so just go inside the model directory and models and from here let's open this one service provider.php and inside this model let's create a function here public function and function name user and inside this just write here return dollar this arrow belongs to model name user colon colon class and add here the column name which is user id all right now save this file now go to the view file and uh, for displaying the service provider name just write here is provider arrow user arrow name okay and for displaying the email just write here is provider arrow user arrow email okay now let's copy this and uh, after this just paste here and for displaying the phone number just change here and only just write your phone now remove this and for displaying the city right here is provider arrow city and uh, for service category just write here category arrow name and service location service underscore locations okay and also remove this td and now change here for pagination link so just copy this as providers and paste here Alright, now it's done. So save this file. And one more thing, uh, go to the layout file. So just open the base layout file. So from resources directory, resources, views, layouts. And from here, let's open this one base.play.php file. And inside the admin menu, you can see here this is the admin menu. And after this, let's add here. Uh, so first copy this link and uh, paste here now change here the name so just write here all service provider all right and also change here the route name so write here service underscore provider this one providers okay now save this file now let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page now let's log in with admin credentials so click on login and enter here the email id admin at the date subside media dot in password let's log in Now go inside the admin menu and here you can see the link all service providers. Okay. Now just click on this. And you can see here the service provider. Okay. Uh, let's add one more service provider. So let's open the incognito and private windows. And here uh, go to the URL localhost 8000. And now 
let's register one more new user as a service provider so click on register add here the name uh, let's say name is suraj kumar email id suraj at the rate serve side media dot in password confirm password phone number and register as service provider okay now click on register all right go to the profile and set here the profile image so just click on edit profile browse the new image select this one okay and add here some text for the about so just write here about text here city Murugan, and service category let's say plumber plumbing service location and now click on update okay profile updated now go to the admin page and then just refresh the page and uh, here you can see the two service providers okay so in this way you can show all service providers in admin panel so that's all about showing service providers in admin panel so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching